everybody. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's your main math man, Ms. Shane, coming to you live from Lock Grant Middle School. And for Wednesday's warm up, it says a spinner has four equal sections labeled W, X, Y, and Z. And so if you want to draw that uh, spinner, again, that's that almost kind of like a pie chart. So you're making a little, nice little circle, and it has it labeled W, X, Y, and Z. All right. Again, equal sections of meaning, well, we know each of these are, is going to be one fourth. And that says a fair coin, meaning it has uh, equal sides with uh, heads and tails. Uh, Edward spin, uh, spins the arrow of the spinner and flips the coin uh, each time. What is the probability that the arrow will land on a section labeled Z and the coin will land with uh, heads face up? So again, uh, you have your uh, coin. If you wanted to draw it out, again, it has two, uh, two sides. As long as you understand that one side is heads, where the other side would be tails. So now, again, you're looking for this. Are these events going to affect each other? Do uh, when I spin a spinner, does it change the coin? Well, definitely not. So we know that these are going to be independent. Independent. Again, this means they are not affecting each other. So, uh, let's see. So we're looking for, first, let's do the probability of landing on a section labeled Z. All right. So, again, it's the number of sections that are labeled Z. So we just count up, and so we just have the one. So it's going to be one in our numerator. And make sure that's a one. And so now we're, uh, we say it's over the total count of sections. So how many sections are there? Well, there are four. So it's one fourth. Similar idea. Again, since it's independent, it is going to not affect each other. So we just take it normally. So be the probability of how many uh, sides have heads. So we have one side out of the two are heads. So now again, last step, make sure you multiply them together. So we're going to say it's the prob uh, probability of landing on a Z and uh, getting uh, the coin with heads face up. So it's going to be, let's do it here. It's going to be the first fraction, one-fourth, times the second fraction, one-half, which equals one-eighth. Again, you can uh, change between your fraction decimal percent. So again, if this is one-eighth, I believe, and I can double check on the calculator here. Okay, if we get one-eighth, so one divided by eight. Yep, that's that. Uh, that is equal to that 0 0.125. Again, you always round to the nearest cent, and so it would be about 13%.